In this video, you will learn how to create a custom tab bar in Flutter. So let me show you a demo first. Open the app. You can see here we have three tabs and we are on the first tab. This is the custom tab bar that we will develop in this video. Click on tab 2. You can see here the content will change according to the tab. Click on tab 3 and you will be able to show the counter beside the title of tab bar. So let's start coding. Hello everyone everyone welcome to our channel first you need to create three files home page main tab item inside the main we just have a material app and home page then go to the tab item inside tab item file we have tab item class that extends from stateless widget create a variable for title and then create a variable for count pass the title variable to the tab item constructor then pass the count to the tab item constructor inside the build method we return tab widget create a row widget and pass it to the child of tab widget set the main axis alignment to the center inside the children properties create a text widget set the title and set the text or follow to ellipsis then check the count is greater than zero create a container widget set a little margin from start to five set a little padding create a box decoration widget set the color to colors dot gray with a shade of 200 set the shape to serve create a center widget and pass it to the child of container create a text widget then check if the count is greater than 9 show 9 plus and else show the count create a text style widget set the color to colors dot black and set the font size to 10 and else create a size box widget save the file and go to the home page file inside the home page file we have home page class that extends from stateless widget import the tab item file inside the build method return default tab controller set the length to 3 inside child create a scaffold widget create an app bar widget create a text widget and pass it to the title of app bar and show flutter custom tab bar in the title of tab bar set the font size to 16 and set the center title to true inside app bar widget we have a property called bottom inside the bottom create a preferred size and set the size from head to 40 then create a clay project widget and pass it to the child of preferred size set the border radius to 10 inside child create a container widget set the head to 30 set a little margin from horizontal create a box decoration widget set a border radius to 10 set the color to colors dot green with shade 100 inside child create a tab bar widget inside tab bar widget we have tabs property create a tab item with title of inbox and count of six create another Another tab item with title of archived and count of 3. And finally create a tab item for deleted with count of 1. Save the file and run it to see the changes. Now you can see we have created a custom tab bar. Let's customize the tab indicator. Inside tab bar we have indicator size and set to the tab indicator size dot tab. Set the divider color to colors dot transparent. Create a box decoration widget and pass it to the indicator. Set the color to colors dot green. Set the border right used to 10 set the label color to colors dot white and set the unselected label color to colors dot black save the file and run it to see the changes now you can see we customize it the tab indicator so let's dynamic the tab content create a tab or view widget and pass it to the body of a scaffold widget inside the children properties create a center widget inside child create a text widget and show the inbox page then create another widget for archive page and finally create another widget for deleted page you can set your page instead of these widgets save the file and run it to see the changes now you can see the tab bar content click on another tab you can see the content will change according to the tab thanks for watching if you want to support us hit the like button and if you have any questions let us know in the comment below